How to use Squarespace Website Builder Easy Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to use squarespace.com to create a website and more. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you'll go to squarespace.com and you will land on this platform right here. Squarespace is a very famous website builder that allows you to create your own website and online store. Today, I'll show you how you can create a website for free with Squarespace and as a complete beginner, how to actually build your business. Let's get into the process. First of all, once you get to squarespace.com, you will click on get started. Once you click on get started, you can sign in or sign up with your Google account or email address. I have signed into my squarespace.com and you can see this is my dashboard. I will be able to find all of the different websites that I already have and then we can create a new website. Click on create website and it'll take you right here to Squarespace templates. You will be able to get a lot of different templates. We have different niches and categories. So you can see online store, portfolio, blog, scheduling website, art and design, photography, health and beauty, fashion. Then we have local businesses, entertainment, travel, restaurants. So what kind of website you're looking for, you can actually customize your search. So I will be creating a blog today. So I'm just gonna select blog from here so that I can find the most reasonable templates right here. So you can see we have different blogs available here. I am looking for a food blog. So I'm going to select this template right here. We can get a preview or click on start. You have to give your website a name. So I will be calling my food blog a foodies corner. This is the name for my website. Click on continue. Then you have to select if you will be selling something or not. So we can also add our e-commerce to our Squarespace and uh, Square Scheduling. So there are a lot of integration available with Squarespace that allow us to create a professional website. Click on next, get started and it will take you right here so you can see this is the template that i went for and we can completely customize it i will be uploading my own uh, you know food pictures right here we can also add our you know social icons different buttons and different things so first of all i'm going to click on pages right here and you can see we have a blog about contact and a shop so i'm going to actually get rid of the shop but if you want to sell something using Squarespace, then you will be good with the shop option that you have. You can also add a new page. Click on this plus button, select a blank page or a page layout, or you can add a portfolio page, events page, video page, folder or links. I will be adding a video page because I create videos with my for food. And what I'm going to do is I will be uploading some of the videos. So I'm going to select page which looks like this. So, okay, now a video page is added to my website right here. And you can see it is known as videos. Perfect. We can arrange the pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here after the about page. Perfect. Now I'm going to get back to my blog page and show you how to customize a page because I cannot show you like how to customize each and everything. I will just customize the first page and you will get an idea how to use the uh, Squarespace editor. Once you have it here, you have selected the page you want to add it. Click on the edit option and it will open up the editor for you. Now, if I hover over my page, you will see that it's giving me the edit option. First of all, edit the site header. So I'm going to click on edit site header. We have our logo. We have site a title and logo elements and style. I'm going to click on elements and it's showing me the buttons, social links and more. There is a lot happening here. You can see we have pages and then we have socials as well. I want the socials to be in the footer. I do not want them to be in my header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the socials from here and it will vanish it. So now the socials have vanished. We have the website name. Let's say I want to customize the name again. So I'll just click on site title and logo. Here we have our site title. We can upload a logo as well. So I'm just going to click on upload file, select a logo from our computer and it will be uploaded loaded here. This is what it looks like. We can adjust the height and the size for our logo. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Perfect. So this is our logo and uh, we have our own website name. Let's get back. So our header has been, you know, edited. We can maybe go with the text or disable the logo if we want. Moving on, we have our text and a picture right here. So we're going to select the picture, click on edit, and we can change the picture from here. Click on replace and upload your picture from your computer. So I have uploaded the image that I took. 
There you go. So this is how you uh, change the images. Now let's change the text. Click on the text right here. Click on edit. Remove this text. We can, of course, change the size of our text, the alignment, the font, everything. So this is where you will be adding the text. I'm just filling it in to show you. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next section. We have recent post. Again, we can add right here like a recent post and it's again like images and some text. Let's say I want to add another blog like to my website. Click on add section and you will be able to add a completely new section for events, portfolio, images or videos or a menu right here, charts and audio. Or what you can do is you can just click on add blog to add a blog to an already created section. So a blog will be added right here in this section. I'm going to click on add blog and we can add text, images, videos, forms, newsletters, map and other things to our website. What I'm going to do is I will be adding, let's say, a map. So I'm going to select it and it will be added right here. Now I'm going to place it right here. Let's actually place our text a little bit lower. You can see how easy it is to move everything on our editor right here on Squarespace. I'm going to place our map here. This is how you add something to your website. You just select it and then you can adjust its size, everything according to your section that you have added. So it will be added right here. How to customize a button with Squarespace? Click on the button right here. Click on edit and you will be able to remove this link and add the link for your page or your YouTube channel or anything. Again, we have a text right here and we have this newsletter type thing. If you want to delete a section, you can just click on delete and that section will be removed. Now you can see this is our footer. I'm going to click on edit footer and I will be able to edit the footer. We have social links added and I want to add one more section to my footer. So we have site title and everything. So this one actually looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and let's go with this footer. So I'm going to select this one and that section will be added right here. So my footer is ready to. Now you will, of course, edit all of the photos and you will edit all of the text that as I showed you how to upload an image or how to add a video. If you want to change all of the images, then you can just select and you will select all and delete the images first and add your images onto your website. It also depends on if your website requires a lot of images or not. If you're creating a portfolio website, if you're creating, you know, photography website, then you will require the photos. Otherwise, you can create business websites and you can create blogs and other professional websites using Squarespace. Once your website is done, you can get a preview, a mobile view or a desktop view of your website that you have created. And once you're done, you will click on publish and your website will be published. Uh, get to the main menu of your website and you will be able to find the settings, portfolios, analytics, marketing, commerce, design and pages. This is how your website will look like and click on publish and your website will be created with Squarespace website builder. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.